challenge when we talk about all these uh, vocational training, uh, take everything in Iraq because Iraq mm -hmm. is, uh, according to UN, uh, is one of the most uh, five most affected countries in, in the region by climate change. Uh, so this is a big challenge, even if we talk about development in the agricultural sector. But on the, on the other hand, we have climate change and its effect on Iraq. Mm -hmm. uh, how this, uh, I mean, uh, in all these goals, how climate change is considered uh, to be uh, addressed or dealt with? Yeah. No, you're absolutely right uh, in terms of Iraq being one of the most uh, severely affected mm -hmm. uh, countries globally uh, by the global warming and climate change. And of course, Iraq's dependence on the two rivers, the Tigris and Euphrates, um, has really had a devastating impact. The reduction of waters mm -hmm. in this river the, the level of the, the low level of precipitation and rainfall in the past, I would say 20, 30 years, have really had a very negative impact on farmers mm -hmm. and also on population. We have statistics now that close to 37,000 people in the south have been, have migrated, have been displaced because of the climate change impact. And of course, <clears throat> this has an impact on uh, sunstorm, mm -hmm. um, you know, frequent sunstorm and, and also droughts uh, and uh, desertification. So that the impact is very cascading. Iraq cannot afford to remain indifferent to the impact of the climate change. So um, it is important that for Iraq that all budgetary prevention, all investment loss are seen from the lens of climate change. It's absolutely essential. How do, we in, how do we invest in smart agriculture? Mm -hmm. How do we conserve water? As you know, 90% of current water in the two rivers are polluted, surface water. That is according to the statistic from the Ministry of Water. There's a lot of leakage. So water governance and efficient use of water is absolutely essential. How do we invest in smart agriculture? How do we invest in modern irrigation system and techniques? Mm -hmm. How do we bring, um, uh, for example, drought resilient seeds um, and, and, and probably not um, uh, spend water or invest in, in crops that are very water heavy and incentive? Mm -hmm. So there is, must be a huge shift in agriculture policies, in water management, mm -hmm. and also in public behavior. I see that Iraqis as a public, they, the government can do so much. We as a UN launched a water campaign uh, two months ago with the Ministry of Water. Mm -hmm. The whole purpose is, and I also invite uh, your TV uh, station to advocate and to inform the public about conservation of water. How do we conserve water even at a, at a personal level? So um, I think uh, for us as a UN, mm -hmm. we, we are focusing, this is one pillar of our uh, support in the next five years, and I would be a little bit more specific at two levels, we're supporting the uh, climate change agenda. Mm -hmm. One, at the policy and regulatory level, because Iraq has <coughs> international obligation yes. under the Paris Climate Agreement, SDGs, and, 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 and a few other agreements that there's the, the Convention on Biodiversity and, and uh, also um, many other aspects of the Convention on Water and so forth. So our, um, in the policy area, we have now helped Iraq to come up with an adaptation plan, a mitigation plan. Um, we have also helped a lot, worked with the Ministry of, uh, uh, with the, uh, also Parliament and also Prime Minister Office and others to revise the, um, the renewable uh, energy law. Um, Iraq's contribution to renewable energy right now is only 5% in Iraq. Electricity comes from 5%. It's heavily reliant on fossil fuel. Because also Iraq needs to do its part to reduce um, its carbon footprint, because Iraq has one of the, the dense, um, uh, what we say, uh, dense carbon footprint globally. That means that Iraq's uh, um, carbon emission per GDP is higher than uh, many countries. That's because mm -hmm. of gas flaring. How do we capture gas flaring? And I'm very happy that the current government under 
uh, Prime Minister Sudani has been investing a lot to capture the gas yes. from oil production and turn it into uh, clean energy. So Iraq also need to make a transition in that. Also for us um, in the area, um, or I talked about the policy, one of the other important area that we are now helping Iraq, uh, actually two area. One is how Iraq can effectively participate in the various conference of parties, or we call it COPs. Mm. Uh, uh, again, the UN agencies uh, are supporting Iraq. Uh, we're building their capacity of the negotiator mm. to uh, actually effectively negotiate and participate in COP28 and COP29 and any other international mechanism. Why this is important? Because Iraq needs to make its case to the world that they are the most affected. Iraq needs to access international finance um, by the fact that it is not Iraq's fault for being uh, affected and the people have to pay the, the price for, for the uh, climate change impact. So we're helping Iraqis also uh, to participate effectively. Lastly, we're also helping Iraq to, uh, to revise its, what we call it, national, nationally de uh, determined uh, contribution. That's the Iraqis' targets under the climate change, what we call it NDC. So we are helping Iraq to revise its NDC target because the current targets are very low. So that Iraq become an effective leader in the region in terms of responding to the impact of climate change and, uh, and so forth. In the area of water, I'm pleased to say that under my leadership, uh, we have uh, created uh, a, a, a water task force in the UN so that we can provide uh, policy and technical advice to the government on, on proper integrated water management issues. Uh, we have also a lot of projects in the south and also even in mm -hmm. Kurdistan on uh, tree plantation, on afforestation, on water treatment, wastewater treatment, and also how do we revive the, uh, and, 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 and protect uh, the marshes uh, in the south, which is uh, the uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. And a lot of, uh, we have indigenous people who have for, for, for centuries lived on this, in this area. Um, so for us, prior, uh, climate change is a priority. Mm -hmm. And we are happy to support Iraq in this. Uh, Mr. Salzai, how is the UN is helping Iraq with the uh, Sustainable Development uh, Agenda, S SDG? SDG. Yeah, goals. Thank you for asking. And this is extremely important mm -hmm. for Iraq because globally we're not doing very well on SDG. And Iraq is also have a mixed result on SDG. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, Iraq has uh, so far um, achieved only six of the 17 goals. It's on track yeah. to achieve uh, five goals by the end of 2030. And it's actually regressing on three goals. So as you could see, it is, we have only six years to achieve the SDG. And these are Iraqi goals. These are not UN, yes. but we, we support Iraq in this. I think part of the issue is that Iraq's uh, uh, also, uh, in terms of standing globally, um, Iraq SDG index score is 64, which places it 108 out of 169 countries. Mm -hmm. So um, I think Iraq needs to do more to achieve the SDG. Um, it also has only achieved 42 percent of the 100 and of the uh, of the SDG targets. So there's a lot of work for us to be done. I think Iraq's national development plan if implemented, and if there are resources and finances behind it, will make a huge progress and leap in achieving the Sustainable Development Goal. And at the UN, mm -hmm. our own uh, cooperation from framework is very much aligned and designed to help Iraq achieve the SDGs. Uh, regarding water, I interviewed the Minister of Water Resources uh, three times yeah. so far, and uh, the numbers and the statics he talks about uh, scares me yes. actually uh, because Iraq is in a situation yet Iraq per capita has enough water but there's a, a big problem when it comes to water management in Iraq and how to be efficient absolutely uh, this is what the minister told me he said I am still as the minister I provide Iraq with uh, the 
the, the water that it needs, but I cannot deal with the waste <coughs> because on the other side there are Ministry of uh, Agriculture, and as he says, 90% of the waste we have in this sector. And Iraq needs to change this irrigation system. I think it, the irrig irrigation system come, goes back to the uh, Babylon time and Sumerian time is by flooding the, the, the yes, fields yes, and yeah. uh, the water goes wasted. Yes. And this is again the same case between Iraq and Turkey. Iraq is calling for more share in uh, Euphrates and also uh, Tigris River, but uh, Turkey, we, we heard it from uh, politicians and ministers in Turkey, they say, we do give Iraq enough share of its water, but the problem is in Iraq in managing the, 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 the water and co manage, controlling the waste. So I think water management is one of the key issues that Absolutely. Iraq and, is facing. And also one other scary statistic is mm. that by 2050, Iraq would see further 20% reduction in its surface water and rainfall. And, and so which means that we need to take action now. Uh, 2050 is not too far away. Yeah. So it's only uh, 25 years away. Yes. So I think it is, as you said, the power of technology, um, looking at alternative crops, uh, drought resistant crops, uh, it is extremely uh, important. For example, Iraq used to produce a lot of rice. Rice is a very intensive, yeah. water intensive crop. Um, also, I see in many countries now, the, even in the United States, um, they use drone technology for irrigation. Mm. They use drone technology for irrigation. You have you have actually a, a drone attached to a pipe that goes and, yes, and, and and only irrigates area that needs irrigation. So I think we need to invest, uh, or Iraq needs to invest in really modern uh, irrigation techniques. Uh, but it's not just uh, uh, agriculture is the lion's share, but also in industry, a lot of wa water goes also for yes. oil production. Yeah. Um, and therefore, how do we, uh, you know, uh, find alternative ways, um, water that goes to water that's not recycled, wastewater uh, treatment. And then most importantly, of course, Iraq does not get a lot of rain, but the rain it gets, how do we harvest this rain? Uh, you know, rain water harvesting is also a technique. So, um, and, and these are areas we're happy to support Iraq. Yeah.